Hey everyone, happy Friday. Today is going to be such a good video. I've got so many good things to show you. Hang with me. The first thing that I'm gonna show you, and I can't really review it yet because I've only used it one time, but it's so pretty, and I think I'm going to love it. The one time I did use it, I loved it, and that is my new steamer. I went ahead and sprung for a nice steamer. I don't really know the pricing, but it was like a little over $300. You could pick, I think, black, silver, or that pink, and I just think that pink is so pretty. It's kind of like the reason I like clothes hangers, and it's just like little things about fashion I just seem to like for some reason, like even garment racks. I love looking at my clothes hanging on this rack so much better than I do in the closet. Let's do some hair stuff next. I ordered these headbands. I just got them yesterday from Amazon. I was watching, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but I think it's Jamari, and she recommended these. I would have never purchased these, but when I saw her put it in her hair, I thought, that may be something I like. So I put this in for the first time yesterday. Let me see what it's gonna look like here. And loved it. Like I don't know if I want to do my whole video like this because I didn't like bronze up in my hairline, but you cannot even feel this in your hair. It is not like the typical headband. It just, I feel like the whole world just got brighter, but it feels like it does when you put sunglasses back in your hair. You know, just that feeling of getting your hair out of your face, but not that feeling of a headband. That is how this feels. And I think it is so pretty. Another Amazon really good purchase I've gotten lately is this vase. If you follow me on Instagram, you might've seen this in my office on the coffee table. And I did get a really nice, cute little acrylic coffee table from Walmart that I think would be so good for so many people, especially if you live in a small apartment or if you are just doing one little room like I did like that, it is so cute. But anyway, I got this vase and I think it is pretty fabulous. It's very modern, just neat looking. I haven't even put anything in it I just like the way it looks on its own. And I thought it was really cool, so I wanted to show you. Okay, now let's go on to some more hair products. I reordered this. I used a whole bottle of this spray. And that is a lot for me because I get, I buy a lot of hair products to try, and I get a lot of things in PR since I do this, you know, YouTube. And for me to use an entire bottle and be sad when it's gone and order it immediately is a big thing. This is the In Common Universal Elixir Protect, Strengthen, Hydrate. I don't know why I had a hard time getting that out. It is just like one of those sprays, you know, that just does everything. It has a little bit of a fresh gardenia type smell. It like makes me feel good because I like this so much. So I did reorder this. But before I reordered this, one of you told me that I would love this. And this is the Beauty Works 10 in 1 Miracle Spray. Delivers 10 benefits, eliminates frizz, gives shine, nourishes, replenishes oils, protects from heat, detangles conditions, prevents split ends, enhances natural body, repairs dry, damaged hair. Check, check, check. <laughs> that is me. I love it, I love it. I have been using this, I think I've used it for the last probably three to four videos that you guys have watched. I was gonna say it's a little heavier than this, but I think because I'm using both of these together, I may feel this way. Although with that, I would always use an oil too. But anyway, I think this might be just a little bit more. So if you have thicker, maybe a little bit more unruly, coarse type hair, I would recommend this one. If you are worried about something weighing your hair down and maybe your hair is finer or thinner, maybe I would recommend this one because I've never felt that way with this one. But when I went to wear my hair 
air dried. I noticed that it didn't keep its body and stay curly. It almost wanted to be smooth. That's what this does. So I used it last night. It really, like I did not even flat iron or curling iron or anything. This is just with my Dyson hair dryer and my brush. So you can see that it gets it smooth. And then I just put one Velcro roller on the crown. And I do use my clips on the side just for about an hour, just to keep this hair kind of smooth. And this oil, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Like, like candy, just so good. I'm not crazy about droppers. I'm not crazy about droppers in makeup and I'm not crazy about droppers in hair oils. I don't know why they want to do that because it's messy. So what I've been doing is just opening it up and then like running my hand on it and using that and it's been working great. Last night, I actually sprayed really well with this and thought I'm just gonna put that oil on at the end and I missed it. So this combination, which is what I bought, I bought it together, is, I'm telling you, I do not think you will regret it. I think that you will love it. And I'm really excited to use it like when I start using my dry bar wand again. I think it's gonna be really nice. I love that it has heat protectant in it too. So two thumbs up on both of these. Okay, I think that's it with hair. Next, we're gonna go on to two bras that I bought one of these I saw, I believe her name is Anna Reed. She has a larger chest, like a larger natural chest. And I was thinking there is no way that this bra can work for her, but she loves it. I think she wears it under her body suits and her tank tops. So I thought I'm gonna go ahead and order that. And that way I'll have it if I want to wear it underneath a bodysuit, and I'll be able to tell you guys about it. I tried it on this morning and it it's one of those things that you put on and you don't want to take it off. It just feels so good and it I love like that secure feeling. That's one of the reasons I don't like to go without a bra. And this gives you that feeling without feeling, you know, constricted in any way. So here it is. It's the Skims. I I can't remember what line it is, but it's just their little bralette type thing that does this but there is just something about it it is two ply and this fabric is a lot better than it looks when you order skims and you get it in the mail it comes in a little teeny packet and you just you look at it like what is that a joke because you cannot believe that you're going to fit into it but it does stretch and it does have a good amount of support without being too thick so I really think this would be a good one to try if you love the bodysuits like I do and the tank tops. You know, white tank tops and trousers are going to be a big deal this year. I have a lot of videos coming up. I'm so excited. This was a big surprise, a big good surprise for me. The other one I have on and it is just very simple. When I grabbed this, I thought I would try this one. Same thing. Love it. Comfortable. Feels very supportive, and I think it's a winner. Okay, remember did. last Friday when I told you I was sweating an order from Nordstrom? Well, I got it, and I'm going to tell you my exact thoughts when I put on this lipstick. It is the Too Faced Cocoa Bold in Buttercream. I was so excited for this. I used to love their lipsticks back in the day. So I ordered this one and just thought I was gonna love it. The exact thoughts in my head when I put this on were yuck. I think I put it on my top lip and then immediately went and took it off. It was so bad on me, but it could just be my coloring and it's not the formula. It is just this color. And I'll be honest with you, it looks pretty on my hand. But when I put this on my lips, it looked like clay. It looked, made me look dead. I think that if I layered like creme de nude or something over it, like if you've already gotten this and you feel like I do, layer something light over it. That's probably what I will do. But I just, I was disappointed. It was a whole, it's going to be a disappointing few items here. I'll go ahead and warn you. Then I ordered the Clay de Peau lip liner. 
And my thoughts in my head were, ha ha, the joke's on me. <laughs> because I forgot that you have to have the actual component or whatever to go with it. And then I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and use it and see if I like it before I even order that. I had to end up getting my tweezers to put up in there, which I understand, that's just how it's made. And I swatched it, I actually put it on my lips, and it's, it's not that it's a bad color, it's just not something I will go to. Not right now, maybe in the winter when I get a little bit more pale. I noticed that my lip liners, my taste in lip liners really change from the winter to the summer. So I am going to roll this back down. I don't know, should I order the component that it goes in or should I just put it in a Ziploc? I don't know, I haven't thought that far, but that's how I feel about that. Then I was so excited to try the Le Beiges Chanel water fresh blush now i know that these type of blushes are not my favorite just because i'm a full coverage kind of girl and i don't like things to interrupt my coverage on my cheeks because that's where i have broken capillaries but i wanted to try this for us so the color is actually really pretty but my exact thoughts when i squeezed it on my hand were not good but oh this is one of those it's like this and you have to of course mix it up i think you have to probably kind of crush those encapsulated things there and it ends up being a pretty color the next day i put it on my hand and i did the same thing and i used a beauty blender that i don't have one right here and I used it on my cheeks and just bounced it very lightly. And I mean, the color was pretty, a warm pink. I'm always gonna like a warm pink, but it just, it didn't do it for me. It just didn't do it for me. I can't say, you guys know I hate, I'm the worst at reviews because I cannot say that something is bad because I know it's just my opinion. But if you think like I do, this is not worth it to me. This is not worth what you have to go through when I can grab, like today I'm wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Ecstasy, a gorgeous blush. There are so many gorgeous blushes out there that you don't have to go through this many steps. If I want to use a magnificent, glowy, because I do understand some people have drier skin than I do. I have oily, mature skin. I will go for the rhodial drops. Those are my favorite. Those and the Chantecaille, that little gelée blush, the happy one that's in the tube. Those two, I think, are my favorite liquid style blushes. They're beautiful, they make you glow, they don't take off your makeup, they have a sheen, They, but not any sparkles, they're just beautiful. The next jokes on me was this Tory Burch mystic geranium her new line of fragrances and i don't know if you've ever like really smelled geranium the actual bloom doesn't have a smell but the leaves do so if you will take a geranium leaf and just run it between your fingers it has the most beautiful aromatic type smell it smells like you're gardening. It smells like you're out in your flower garden and you are potting flowers or something. That's how it smells. So I was hoping this was going to be somewhat similar. I think all of these are just aromatic. This one is Serene, Idyllic, In Harmony with Nature, Fresh Bergamot, Aromatic Geranium, and Musk, The Essence of Dreams. And it's not bad. It's not bad. If you like Joe Malone fragrances, then you're probably gonna like this. Oh, I don't wanna put it on because I have another one I wanna put on. It smells so familiar and I cannot place it. I cannot place what it is. It's like an Estee Lauder scent. I don't know if it's beautiful. It, it's an Estee Lauder scent from years ago that it smells like to me. It's not my favorite. It has a sweetness to it. I don't, nothing about it made me want to wear it again. It's not that it smells bad but it just, it was a very anticlimactic haul from Nordstrom, except for this. I reordered my Valentino liner. 
This is just the best. This is the best liner. I had someone say they didn't like it and I think they accidentally got the one that has red on one end. I always get the double black one. There is just something about this tiny little roll up tip on this that stays sharp. I can get right in my lashes and I can make a little baby wing, which I cannot do with a fat liner. I know Hourglass has a small little eyeliner like this that I want to get and try and compare it to this, but I love this thing. I have missed it. I have missed you. And this, I feel like this almost makes it possible for me to wear this type of look where I don't wear lashes and my wing isn't as big and as pronounced, but I still feel good. I still feel like myself, especially for a summer look. So I love this. And then the next, you know, the other end is just your typical little pin that's still perfect. And I really love it. So just make sure you store it like this so that all the ink is going down here and it washes off well, it stays all day, doesn't irritate my eyes, and I love it. This is the fragrance I'm going to wear today. I have this shower gel and if I want to boost my mood, I pour that shower gel. It's in a beautiful, simple glass bottle. I pour it in my loofah and I feel like all is right. That feeling that you have when you're at the beach in the sun, because it's very beachy. It smells like Bobby Brown Beach, but better. It is the Maddie by Rosie Jane. I could wear this for the rest of my life. It just smells so good. So today I went on Sephora and I was like, do they really describe this as a beachy summer smell? Because I want to wear this all year. It's, you know, everybody says it smells just like sunscreen. This doesn't smell like coconut sunscreen. This smells like old school copper tone, like the true blue white copper tone. It reminds me of the days on the beach, my grandmother putting the copper tone on me and then Noxzema at night. And it's just fabulous. It is just fabulous. I will probably cheat and wear this a little bit in the winter time because it's all about how the things make me feel. And this makes me feel carefree, happy, and that feeling like when you were just soaking up the rays. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up here with one more makeup and then I've got a pair of shoes and my dress to show you. This is from Saint Makeup or Cosmetics. My friend Kristen that I have purchased everything from has helped me so much. She has a lot of our makeup style. She is super helpful, super easy to work with. She will not try to talk you into the whole shebang. She appreciates that I still like this, this, and this, but I love these things from Saint Makeup. One of those is this new lip cream. I've got it on today and I have never really experienced anything like this. First time I put it on, I thought, gosh, I can't get enough. It's hard for me to even swatch because you feel like you can't like get enough on there. So she told me what she does sometimes is just literally you take the tin and you rub it on your lips and then rub it out. I ended up the first day I used it, I grabbed a, 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 I call it a lip brush. It's like a cream shadow brush and I put it on like I did today. And then I first used my Paradise Lip Liner and then I put a couple of little dots of Buxom Celeste. This, not only is it the most beautiful mod peachy color, it stains your lips, this color. I've never had a light peach color stain your lips. It wears all day. The name of it is Wallflower and I love the aesthetic of Saint makeup. I love even like the little tins and everything. I really think you would love these. Hey, okay, I was not planning on showing these to you because you guys, I'm going to a convention or a conference in September and it's the reward style or the like to know it. I'm so excited. You guys, if you've been here with me, you know I've been to two of them, but I have never been to one feeling good and I'm just really looking forward to it. So I've been ordering mega, mega 
fancy outfits and mega shoes. All knowing that some of those may get sent back. John has already been helping me send things back. He's so good. He's such a helpful guy. So I ordered these and I love them so much. And when I put this dress on today, I thought I'm just going to have to break my little rule and show them these first because what I'm planning on doing is a full mega shoe haul. And everything I'm going to show you is just fabulous and comfortable. So I'm not going to order anything that I can't stand in and I can't walk in. So that is what these are going to be. They're going to be good looking shoes, sexy, stylish, but comfortable. This is number one. If you've been here with me, you know that my favorite boot ever is the Schutz Mariana, I believe is what it's called. This is their new version that is a little bit shorter. I think it's called, I can't even remember, I'll put the name up here. It does have the side zip to make it easier to put your foot in, but today I just slipped my foot in like I always do. I don't know what it is about these boots. I can wear these hours and hours and hours and I my feet never hurt. The pitch is perfection. It doesn't put too much. I think it just like evenly distributes the weight of your body on your feet. To me, it just doesn't get any better than this when it comes to style. It had several different colors. I actually have this in the tall version. I actually have four pair of those. That's how much I like them. And I love it. These go with everything. So this is going to be a go-to boot for me. I still will wear my tall ones because sometimes like with leggings, I think I'm like gonna like the tall ones, but with a dress like I have on today, I really love these. Okay, and for my outfit, I have on a little dress that I ordered from Gap. This is just so good. It's so good, you guys. Look at these sleeves. I know so many of you and all of us are self-conscious even though I work out and I'm thinner I still have you know 50 almost two-year-old skin so I love this too and I just love how fitted it is and I love that it's ribbed and it is a mini dress I knew when I ordered this I was going to be taking a little bit of a risk because same thing with my legs as with my arms. It doesn't matter how toned I get, how thin I get, the skin on my legs is 52 years old. But now I don't wear mini stuff very often, but this isn't too mini. And I think this is gonna be great layered with blazers, faux furs, you know, everything I'm gonna say. And even if you wear tights with it, I think it's gonna look great. I think it's gonna be a great transitional dress. I'm gonna hold off on any of the other fashion items that I have and we'll do maybe a separate video. So, okay, you've probably been thinking I was crazy wearing these two rings. I meant to take this one off. I had to wear this one. I think this, it isn't my original. My original castle ring was blue. This is one of my original castle rings with the onyx. I would say start with the onyx because this ring, it's magnificent. And I have had this, I mean, how many years have I had this? Probably eight years or so, and look at it. So that is a testament to his jewelry. I've also got on my large onyx studs, the knockout studs, my first large knockout studs. I love them. But I did order this along with some fancy belts from J. Crew. No, my fancy belts came from Banana Republic, but I'm going to show those to you. But I just thought that was a pretty cool looking little inexpensive ring. And I wanted to show it to you, so that's why I put it on. You probably know this is OPI Cajun Shrimp, and I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you saw something that you liked, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.